Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've been asked by one of my subscribers today what system of tools do I use while I'm out in the woods. So what I've done over the years is just adopted the military system and that's a four tier system of tools. So number one would be a heavy chopping blade and that would be something like a kukri, a parang, a gullock, you know, a large chopping blade, machete type blade for doing all the heavy chopping that is required for making, let's say, a hide, cutting through jungle vegetation, cutting up your camouflage to put on your ghillie suit, stuff like that. So this was the number one choice, it'd be a large chopping blade. Our second choice then would be task specific to the military and that was a fighting knife. While serving in Marines, as you know, Marines usually carry a commando dagger and I carried one throughout my whole career. So that's very task specific to the military. And number three then would be a multi-tool and that was for sorting out stuff like when your radios and your weapon, it just it covered everything. And I used a Leatherman throughout my whole career and still have one to this day. And the fourth option then was a one tool option or do the jobs of all the other blades put together. And for me, I used a heavy chopping tool. And for that one, I used the Boost Fat Battle Mistress. Also, the Swamp Rat Rodent Nine knife. Throughout my whole career, and I've still got these blades to this day. After leaving the military, then, uh, coming to doing my civvy camping and getting up the woods with the dogs and stuff like that and I started a journey on doing a lot of testing of steels to see what steels gave the best performance and at what prices and basically I was looking for a blade that was affordable and I wouldn't cry too much if I broke it or lost it so that sent me on a, a journey for a good number of years and I wasted a lot of blades over that period of testing this out. My friend Andy, who you see on the channel every now and again, uh, served me in the Marines and he went to America and done the grinding with Bart River Knives and spoke to Mike Stewart about the problems we were having with the blades, the rolling, the chipping and told him the tasks we were actually doing with the jobs and he suggested that we adopted the Scandinavian way of working in the woods. A saw for doing all your delimbing and getting the large logs down to size. Then an axe to do all the splitting and breaking it down into your kindling. And then use a puku design knife or a small bushcraft knife for all the small tasks round about the camp. Very knowledgeable guy, Mike Stewart and he was 100% right in what he said. And that principle did work for me and it still does to this day. So after a number of years of using the Scandinavian method of working in the woods with a saw, the axe and a small bushcrafting knife, I wanted to move away from that idea. And one thing that always stuck in my head over the years was after watching the film The Hunted, and I seen the WSK knife, the Dave Beck one. I always wanted one, but knew I'd never be able to afford it. And here's the Bat River version of it, without the, the saw along here that I had in the movie. And this one here is done in A2. It's a brilliant blade as well. And after playing about with the trackers, I've just come to the conclusion there's no point in me having anything else because these are the way ahead for me and all the tasks that I do in the woods. So, trackers all the way. Anyway, through time I met Kev Cunningham of Origin Knives. I discussed with him about some of my ideas for my military background and the knives and what and how I used them up in the woods. And I told him I really liked the tracker knives as a one-tool option for me. Uh, but he was a really busy man. He had a lot of other projects on. Really, really busy in the workshop. And basically never got round to doing it. And it took us a couple of years. 
eventually, <laughs> aye, eventually after a good number of years, we actually got round to making a couple of trackers. And his have been absolutely brilliant. So I wanted one, it was basically indestructible for me and something if I went on a sear course would survive it and he built me this knife here and this has been brilliant this knife it chops down trees uh, you can smash it through everything uh, it just keeps coming back for more and it takes a brilliant edge so this is his Tanto tracker and this is a large one he also built me a small Tanto knife good as well. I haven't actually used it that much uh, after the trials but it's another great knife and it can take a severe beating but this one here was getting closer to the idea of what I wanted as a one tool option so this is his Tanto Tracker and he started developing some other models and eventually I got round to the frontline Kukri Tracker with him And to me, that is the ultimate knife. So my system now then is, as a one tool option, if I could only take one knife, it would be the Frontline Kukri Tracker. Above everything else that I've got, I've got a lot of custom knives, but I've just kind of converted to the Tracker style blade. And to me, I think they're the ultimate design for the things that I do in the woods and I understand that they ain't everybody's cup of tea. They do take a lot of thinking when it comes to using them in the woods and all the different purposes that they're designed for. It does take a lot of work and practice to get proficient at it. But once you do, they're definitely worth it. I'm up in the woods myself like today. I take my front line cookery tracker. And this blade here, this is my EDC, and this is the Origin Shirley, and it's done in B-cut. This B-cut holds a phenomenal edge, and it holds it for a long time. The good thing about it as well, it's stainless, so it's much easier to clean, and it's less likely to rust. Okay, and this is a great Firecraft knife. As you can see, the holes in the handles here take his friction-free socket. And if you look back on my channel, you'll actually see us doing a couple of bow drills with this blade. This is really, really good at firecraft stuff as well. So this covers everything else that I require. So the Frontline Kukri Tracker and this blade here would be my system now. So I'm down to two blades, I would say. Right, so hopefully that's helped you out and lets you understand the philosophies and the principles that I work with while up in the woods and doing the stuff that I do. Now understand that you maybe come from a different perspective than I do and your choice of blades could be totally different and I agree with you a hundred percent. We're all different here. Whatever works for you, keep it plain, keep it simple and you won't go far wrong. Right then, I'll catch you on my next video. Thanks again for coming along. Just sitting down here and I have a cup of coffee here. I thought I'd start a wee rant. So it's gone on long enough now. Right, catch you soon. Cheers.